this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a third person camera now with the rules I have it's set as like kind of an extra ability that would allow you to peek corners and stuff but to do the third person you have start camera of the event player or all players it's just gonna be everyone and then the math of it gets kinda messy just cause it's relative to the world a bit more or less but for the eye position you have three ads in a row and in the third ad you add the value of that player and world vector of an X Y and Z situation now with the X Y and Z the X would be towards the center of the map the Y would be the vertical position and the Z would be how right and left compared to like where you walk out of the spawn doors and these values put it kinda right over your sh shoulder relative to event player transformation rotation and then multiply by multiply up by one and a half this changes how much it, it is in the up direction and then go out another layer multiply facing direction of the event player by negative two that kinda adjusts the distance from the character that it's gonna be and then you get to the look at position so where the camera is gonna be facing and everything above that we did before was where the camera is going to be so if we look at position add value of event player and multiply the facing direction of event player by a thousand and it's going to be kinda how much the reticle can move with regards to like the camera on you and then just so that after a little bit it'll go back to first person I have set player variable A to 1 and if A is 1 it waits 2 seconds and then stops camera of the event player so that it goes back to first person And because the math of it is kind of complicated, you gotta careful with it because sometimes, like if you're too close to a wall or something, you can end up glitching out the camera. But normally, with what I have in there, that's how it looks. But if in some situations it'll do that. I'm not sure why it does that, but if you mess around with the variables, maybe you can take that out and ensure that doesn't happen. But normally, with what I have in there, it works just fine. And if you have it set to be an all the time thing, as opposed to just a ability type thing, it'll be more reliable and not have that issue. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching.